हल्का सा मूव किया था तो वाइड लाइन भी उतना ही मूव होता है बहुत ही क्लोज था बट आप देख सकते हो स्मृति मंदाना ने स्टम्प जब कवर किए थे काफी अच्छे अंपायरिंग हुई है यार इस कॉमनवेल्थ गेम में अंपायर को वो दांत देनी पड़ेगी बड़ा झटका और अकेली डॉसी ब्राउन ने स्मृति मंदाना को बोल्ड कर दिया है ये साझेदारी है जो सलामी बल्लेबाजों की है भारत के लिए बोल्ड होगी हल्का सा मूवमेंट भी मिल रहा है हमने देखा काफी नाखुश स्मृति मंदाना यहाँ पे पिछले बॉल थोड़ा सा वाइड अटैक किया था जब शफल किया तो इस बार इन्होंने सोचा कि स्टंप्स दिख रहे हैं तो मैं स्टंप को अटैक करती हूँ बड़ा विकेट यहाँ पे स्मृति मंदाना को लाना पड़ेगा छह रन पे भारत सोलह पे एक Gardner on inside the power play. Catch it! Gone after it. It's in the air, catching chance. Cut oh, down, big shoot. You do not see Australia drop many, and not in big finals like this. <laughs> I'm going to ball the fullest over Chafali Vuma, who took her on. Because Shafali Vuma scores at 170 versus Megan Shoot. So she had an opportunity. She's only got now once before. So she had an opportunity to take an easy catch. Hey, Chris. And in contrast, weren't India quite brilliant in the field? They took some barnstorming catches. And this, whilst yes, it hung in the air for a while, but in the perfect position. The sun is not in our eyes, so there's absolutely nothing to blame it on. It's just poor. went across and is this a weakness now being exposed from India batters they're moving a lot across to the offside even their legs stump open catch it! another shot to catch it another chance hands Tali McGraw well, they can't celebrate with it because she's tested positive for COVID. Keep your distance. You've never seen anything like it. But it's the end of Shafali Verma. That's what they're celebrating. They're having another chance with Shafali Verma and yet making the same mistake. It's not timing it correctly. Tanya McGrath takes the catch. Players are running to her, but <laughs> they just stand off. Well, a good catch sees in the back of Shafali Burma for 11, India 22 for 2. Step on the Burma, he's got a number of Sulaim and I'm betting him. Whoever wins this match. Interesting to see India's approach here to Jess Jonathan because she took four for 22. 
in the group game against them at the start of the tournament. We'll be wary. Well connected with the sweep. Oh, coming back for a second now. The throw really needed to go down to the non striker's end. Neely was aware of that, she'd already pulled the glove off, knowing she was going to have to send the ball down to the other end. Just a little trouble in the old field from Beth Mooney. It's gone to the right end that time. Well, just look at the way Humphrey's getting over the line. You want to be running your bat in along the ground. So if that ball hits the stumps and you haven't got anything grounded, you're a goner. This out again. Well, if that ha ball had hit, neither bat nor foot grounded behind the line. It's just poor technique. Perfect example of what not to do, young boys and girls, if you're watching. to be busy. We've come back for two half stop talent uh, lead and shoot. Probably saving a boundary there in that position. 28 for two. Nice and Shafali. Nancy Brown continuing. Good work. Grace Harris, so not easy on the that side of the square as well. The ground's a little rough and the ball can also bobble. Continue just bouncing in those pitches with good hand. Good commitment from Grace Harris. The more, the more those ones that they're saving it will help because pressure is already on India. They've lost two of their main batters. And once you're able to restrict them from scoring runs, they'll try to go over the top. They just create four shots. Brings out that fist pump, that Jamima Rodrigues fist pump. Once a boundary scored. Played up ish, but in the gap. Field. Well, Jamima is quick between the stumps. Alana King not picking up cleanly. So she has a look and just as she realizes Alana King misfeels, makes her way through. Jamima does run her bat in. Offside, but the field up. All she needed to do was squeeze it through the gap. She managed it. There's two boundaries coming off this over. Already just four balls ball. Wonderful 
drive from Harlem Creek. It's glorious along the ground. Big, big over this for India. Three boundaries. The placement. Pause the shot as well. Classic. Stands alive and out, that's for sure. It's in response to these three boundaries in the over. Last ball of the power play here. Forty-two for two off the six. We were at the end of the power play. Beth Mooney batted on, batted deep into the innings for sixty-one or forty-one balls. A leg spin from Alana King. He's a wicket-taking bowler, but it's fifty-four. Well cut off. Ash Gardner and Grace Harris combining. It's well played from Jimmy Rodriguez. It was even better fielding. Here we go. 
She goes, she came in then. Oh, I thought of things. Warfield is in this offside inside the ring. Last ball, what Jonathan got. Oh, oh full. Throw it, Grace, throw it! Teenover's gone. gone. Oh, what a way to stop me over. Not a dream. It's that Beth Mooney fat. Four boundaries. Four fielders out deep on the leg side. No one up inside the inner circle. Drags it out to the leg side. Start to the full toss. Some big boundaries out that way, big pockets. Got enough on it. This is excellent by the Indian captain. 